Hello dear students, in this lecture we are going to see the concept of failure classification in database management system. In last lecture we have seen about recovery system, why it is needed and what are the different causes of the disk failure or database corruption. Now in this lecture we are going to see different failure classification that means how the database get or how the database is failed and what is the classification of that database failure that we are going to see. So first of all we will see transaction failure. So there are two types of error that may cause a transaction to fail. Now in daily life we perform or we do various transactions but due to some reasons they, that transaction get failed. So what are the different reasons that the transaction get failed? So there are two reasons one is logical error or second is system error. What is logical error? The transaction can no longer continue with its normal execution because of some internal conditions such as bad input, data not found, overflow or resource limit exceeded that is logical error. So in this type of failure or this type of error occurs due to bad input data or it may possible that we are retrieving the data or we are demanding the data which is not available in the database or we have some limited resources or there is a overflow. So this is logical error. Second type of failure fail cause is system error. The system has entered an undesi undesi undesirable state for example deadlock as a result of which a transaction cannot continue with its normal execution. So whenever deadlock occurs the transaction cannot continue its normal execution. So at that time system error may get and the system cannot continue with its normal execution. However, the transaction can be re-executed at later time whenever there are free resources. Now there is system crash. There is hardware malfunction or bug in the database software or the operating system that causes the loss of content of volatile storage and brings the transaction processing to halt. So whenever there is a loss in the volatile storage, it may possible that transaction processing may halt or the transaction may get stopped. This is possible due to hardware problem or bug in the software, database software or in the operating system. The content of non-volatile storage remains intact and is not corrupted. So, Volatile storage contents may get corrupted but non-volatile storage like ROM remains intact and they, the contents in that storage does not get corrupted. The assumption that hardware errors and bugs in the software brings the system to halt but do not corrupt the non-volatile storage content is known as fail stop assumption. That means if the system get halt but the contents on the non-volatile storage remains unchanged then that condition or that is known as fail stop assumption. And if the database system is well designed there are numerous internal checks at the hardware and software level that bring the system to halt when there is an error. Hence the failure stop assumption is reasonable one. Next is disk failure. A disk block loses, loses its content as a result of either a head crash or failure during the data transfer operation. So when the head is crashed or there is a failure during the data transfer operation the disk block may lose its content. 
the copies of data on other disk or archival backups on the tertiary media such as dvd or tapes are used to recover from failure that we have seen in the recovery system that if we have taken the backup of database on some secondary storage like dvd or tapes then it may possible to recover the lost data so this is all about failure classification thanks for listening